Welcome to Nathan Allen's Haiku Organization and Management video. Today I'm going to walk you through how I manage my classroom on Haiku and how this allows me to effectively include the students in all the projects even if they're unable to make it to one of the classes and how I'm able to put the information out so that all the students can participate in their activities. If you look right here, this is my 8th grade U.S. History class. Now, if you notice, it says backup, so this is my 2014-2015 year. Right here, we have the last PBL that was currently being used. They have the home assignments, in-class assignments, and flipped assignments. This organization goes through all of the PBLs I use with the students. The home assignments are assignments that they're working on in the classroom that follow them back home, something that they need to complete to bring back to class. The flipped assignments are new material, material that they're going to learn on their own at home and then come to class either use it in a workshop or begin using in their PBL. And of course the in-class assignments are different assignments that we do during the day in class. They can actually get on and see some of the assignments that they're going to do the uh, following day or further on in the week. Where I'm going to start you is this file right here, PBLs of the past. I've got about four different PBLs, uh, five including the one we're on that the students were able to go back and look through their previous PBLs. I'm going to show you PBL 3, Game Creator. This one, you have your entry page, um, Westward Expansion, a few things that we used in the class, but I'm going to go to their flipped assignments so you can see what the material looks like that a student sees when they're at home. On their flipped assignments, it has a few different videos. Here's a Prezi on how to create a presentation for their final product. Um, this was a short video clip on how to make something interesting and to catch someone's eye, maybe an advertisement or a video. If we go down, we can see Acts, Northwest Ordinance, Indian Removal Acts. Each of these are links to different documents or files. Here's a crash course video on uh, Market Revolution, the War of 1812, different things that were used during the PBL. So these were set up as flipped assignments. They'd show up in their calendar and say, watch this part of the movie tonight, watch this part of it tomorrow, and it would give them assignments. Uh, these are all the resources that they have the ability to just go back to on Haiku. Uh, this particular PBL, they were creating their own game. Some of them used Minecraft. Some... This is the program that the students were using to create the games. Uh, one of them. Uh, there were quite a few programs that they used. This one was called uh, Game Fruit. And what it allowed them to do is do a 2D scrolling game. Now I'm going to continue going down. You can see we have the Monroe Doctrine, Indian Removal Act, Trail of Tears, Jacksonian Democracy, Manifest Destiny. Each of these were used for different assignments that they had. They would read over one and have something that they would have to do with it. And then when they came to class, they would use that material together as a group to try to figure out how this material could fit into the games that they were creating. Also, if we go down, we can find, um, this is a video that the students actually helped me to create Oliver um, Perry, Commander of Lake while I was in the Naval classroom. Had his uh, the students came up with the material. As we were discussing the material, I covered the material with them, covering questions, workshops that they had, and then recorded that workshop and posted it up so that they could go back and watch it later. This is just a overview of some of the material we used, uh, photos. Um, out of different textbooks that we covered uh, so they could go on and read this material after class either review it or as new material before a project. This is uh, a good overview of what you'd expect on any of the flipped assignments for the PBLs the students have had. Uh, thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video over the management and organization. Uh, please look forward to some of my other videos describing their home assignments and the type of assignments we've done in the classroom. Thank you.